The final heat of the Gold City 450 was another three laps around the Chartist Towers course. It was a sweltering 37 degrees and Glenn Brinkman and Dale Moskett were chasing a place in the very hot and dusty conditions. Yeah, pretty glad that's over. So, uh, no, we just, it was too far in front to catch the next guy. We had to pick up a minute and a half and I think we had a minute and a half behind us. So, all we had to do was circulate and do three sensible laps and that's what we did. We just pretty much maintained the same gap for the whole three laps. So, yeah, pretty happy to have a finish. Now, it's a top ten result outright for you and also fourth in the class. So, that's fantastic. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I wasn't, uh, after the way I prologued, I wasn't thinking that was possible. So, but yeah, I was, um, most of the other guys all finished too, so it was good, good competition and fourth's probably where I should be. And in terms of the championship, that puts you in a fantastic position. Yeah, it's all about, uh, you got to finish all the rounds, we learnt that last year, so a fourth is, you know, might be as good as a first down the track. What are the plans for the year? Obviously you're looking for a better result than last year. Ah, oh, second was pretty good, first going to be pretty hard to top with the competition that's here and like James has cleaned up the whole weekend outright as well this weekend so that's a, the level of competition I'm up against so we just have to keep bagging points all year. Next round coming up, looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah, it'll be a pretty good weekend away, a couple of weeks away, we've got Poon Carey which is the next Australian round and then the next week we get the escort out for uh, Heartland so yeah, can't wait. Dale, a very successful weekend for the team. Yeah, the person that won most this weekend was the Hydrolite Company. I don't know how many bottles of Hydrolite we've drunk this weekend. Uh, it's been very hot, tough conditions uh, to get the car through that, and especially with all the compressions and, and the roughness of this course here. Uh, yeah, we should be pretty happy with that. What are you taking away from this event in terms of, uh, you know, obviously good championship points and the next one, next round coming up? What do you take away from this event? The sore back. Um, <laughs> yeah, look. At the start of the season, obviously last year we had a few issues at the start of the year and it's very, very hard to play catch up. So we're starting on the front foot this year, which is you know much better. Um, and we'll look at the events and play strategy and see how we end up at the end. But yeah, it's much better to start off the year well. So uh, yeah, on that front we should be happy. It was a bit of a challenging weekend with the dust and you know when you start poorly it makes it a very hard job to come back from there. But um, I think we made the most of a bad situation. And you've got a pretty busy year this year. You've already done a lot of events here in Australia and also all around the world. Yeah, we've got, I think, 11 or 12 events overseas this year. Um, we're in the thick of them already. I'm about to duck back off to Portugal soon. So it's what we like to do. <laughs> you know, it's nice to stay home with the family and, and do the relaxing, normal things. But yeah, I like adventures and challenges. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy year.